So talking about target setting, um, I've done my target setting. I've added for my year 12s, I've put in their minimum expected grades. And then what I've asked uh, subject staff to do is to target set by subject around those minimum expected grades. If you want some more detail on that, if you watch AW3, that's Alps Watch 3, um, Megs and subjects by target, that gives you more detail on how um, that target setting process might work um, if, you, uh, if you want to have a, more of a, an idea of that. If you haven't done it that way, if you're just used to setting your own subject targets um, based on, on other um, means, then this is still uh, an appropriate video to have a quick look at. So you've got um, in Connect Data, what I've asked my data manager to do is I have asked them to take my subject targets for my year 12s. This is my new year 12s. You can do this for year 10 as well. And I have asked the data manager to create a year 12 custom target check in September. OK, so what this is, is this is the data that has all my teacher, uh, sorry, all my students, all of their subjects and their subject target. OK, and I'm using that as if it's a monitoring point in Connect Data. So if I then go into Connect Interactive, and I have a look at my subjects. What I need to find is in this blue lozenge here, I need to find that uh, monitoring point. So let me just clear all of those other monitoring points so that we can just find that one. And I called it year 12 target check, ding. Accept that. Now then, what I've got here is I have got all of my subject teacher targets and basically I want them to be read because I want my teachers to be aspirational and so I've got a nice array of aspirational targets being sat, uh, set here apart from a couple of subjects so let's look at business studies grade six possibly going to have a conversation with the business study staff to say really is that an aspirational target if I pop into business studies then I can then see those um, students and see that in a bit more detail. So I can do some modeling now. So I'm sitting having a conversation with my head of business studies. I might pop into students and I might say, OK, there's all of our students in business studies. Um, and um, let's look at their targets that you, you've sat here. I'm going to pop on this uh, what if tool. Um, so what I can now do is and I, I can now sort of scroll down and think, well, look at this student here. So they're a, street, a C stroke D minimum expected grade. The business studies department have target set them at an E. So I then can have that conversation of really, do you, do you think we might actually give them a D? Um, likewise, you know, there might be a few split grades here where you might negotiate. Well, really, can that be a B grade? Um, here we've got uh, two B stroke C's and we've got a B and a D, so maybe a C on that. Now look at what's happening to that side of the thermometer. We've now target set, modelled that target setting to be an overall five. Okay, so etc, etc. You can keep going like that until you've got more of a compromise between you and the, and the head of business studies uh, in terms of their target setting.